I'm back everyone. You may be trying to find out a way where you can go ahead and send videos from your Android phone to your iPhone. Now luckily for you, this is a pretty basic process. There's many ways to do this. You can upload them to Google Drive and other places like that. But one of my favorite resources is actually via snapdrop.net. So it's like an airdrop kind of alternative. So if you make your way over to your Google account or Google page, whatever, you can go and type in Snapdrop on Google and you can go to this website, snapdrop.net, or you can just Google like how I did and you'll come into this page. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go and make our way to the same exact page on our iPhone. So you wanna go here, you wanna click here, you wanna type in Snapdrop and it may already populate. So essentially you wanna make your way over to the same exact website and you'll see that both of those things just came up. So what we can do here is we can go ahead and from our Android, we can go and pick it up and we can go ahead and click on the icon right here. This should be your phone right here. And you wanna go ahead and just click a while using this app and you'll come into this little panel down here. Now, all you have to do is go and find the place that has your photos or videos stored. So in this case, I'll go and click on the files icon and I'll go ahead and find a video or whatever that I had a while ago. So you may be able to find a video here. As you can see, I don't even have a video, but we'll just go and take this image for an example, right? As you can see, I clicked on that you know little icon, that little file, and I was able to actually send it straight over to my iPhone right there. So all I have to do here is go and click on save and it'll go ahead and allow me to save this download so I can go and save it. And you can basically see that it'll allow me to save exactly what that was. So now I can go and click on my downloads icon right here, click on downloads, and you will see I have that little image available. So whether it's image, a video or whatever, you'll basically be able to send it via your little phone right here and just by using snapdrop.net. So it's a great little resource. I use it all the time and that's one of the easiest ways to do it. You can also, like I mentioned, do a Google Drive. You can try sending it via text, but most of the time it's not gonna work. But snapdrop.net is a great way to do it in my opinion. So that kind of covers it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.